Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial I'll explain you how to add a road section to your Follow Car System Digital 3.1 layout. Now the road which you are now looking at, that's the road which I need to add to my existing layout in the Follow Car System. To get started you click on the satellite symbol to activate the track mode. And then you click on the symbol right top corner to start recording. At this moment you start your vehicle at the point where you want to start recording the road. The vehicle is now passing a tunnel and we immediately see a lot of faulty track records. The reason is that the satellite system cannot penetrate through any obstructions. Outside this you see that the track recording is quite smooth. It runs quite nice now. We are now approaching, in fact, the terminal crane of the container yard. And here we see the same problem again. The container crane is obstructing the satellite signal and we get all sort of faulty records. Yeah, this whole area becomes a total mess. The vehicle is now passing the container crane again. And now we are out. And we see that the vehicle is making very nice record. So as long as you don't have any obstructions, you see that the recording is in fact quite simple and quite nice and fully correct. No problems. Now we are now approaching the tunnel again and we see the same happening just a little bit later. Here it comes again. And now we are reaching the old layout. So, how do we fix those track faults in the XI direction? In the track mode, we can uh, identify the points and then we just push on the waste button. Again, you select the points and you push the, the waste bin. And we do this all one by one. All of them has to be done. We can zoom in with our uh, wheel on the mouse. And also if we click on the screen we can drag the whole drawing down or up. If you click on two of them they automatically connect. We can also move, move a point by selecting the move button. We click them both and we connect them. And now we can also in fact add points by clicking on the add points button. Now we have to do the same for the container yard. I will not show you that because this was a very time consuming job. But a few things I want to show you there is that you can also in fact select multiple points by just circling them and drawing them all together. As a last we need to connect uh, with the existing layout. It doesn't always work directly, but when you select the point on the, on the layout then you can connect it. So we are done. Looks quite good. That's what you think, that it looks quite good. It is not true. Let's look what happens in 3D. So we go to 3D mode. We have corrected all the X, Y positions, but in fact in the Z direction, uh, where there were tunnels and obstructions, this, the recording system also made mistakes. So now we have to push all these uh, positions also in the Z right position. Again we can do this point by point like I show you here. We move them up and we see in fact on the XYZ position 
that Z is going close to zero. I need to be somewhere around zero for my layout. There is also a faster way that you can do in fact the whole area with the push button which is called Z clutton. I demonstrate that here. I selected the whole area and then with the push button Z clutton I smoothen the whole layout. However, you have to watch out a little bit because it's not completely clear always if this ends up at zero or just a few centimeters lower or higher. So at the end you have to check yourself with a few points if, if your track at that point is still at zero or is too low or too high. I see now in fact that it is minus 20 millimeter. So I'm going to select the whole area again. I select the whole area and I'm going to move it up a little bit. You see, it's moving up a little bit. The track doesn't have to be here at zero. Plus or minus 15 millimeter is good enough in this area. So we are done now. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, thank you for watching.